Hello and welcome back to Car Rental University. I am your host, Alex Witherow. Today we're going to talk about why I think right now is a bad time to get into rentals. Uh, give you the opposing view of what at my previous video. Before I get into that, click below, grab the five things you must do before starting a car rental business. Lots of great information in there. Also, give this channel a subscribe. We're constantly talking about things and issues that pertain to the car share platforms. So, I just gave you a list in the previous video of why I think it's a good time to get into car rentals. I know I talked about, you know, the fact that this industry is very new. Uh, very much a baby industry, lots of opportunity, lots of, you know, need for cars in all cities, sub suburbs, smaller towns. Uh, I do think that this is going to be growing quite a bit. Now, that said, there are some inherent challenges in the market right now. First of all, obviously, there is a short shortage of cars. Um, it's not really a shortage of cars, it's more a shortage of semiconductor chips for cars. So there's lots of cars out there right now that are just sitting there that have been made, that are just waiting for chips. So um, a lot of those chips are coming, most of those chips are coming through Taiwan. There's a lot of geopolitical uh, instability over there right now. Obviously the war in uh, Ukraine has disrupted some supply chains as well. So, you know, all that to say, um, <clears throat> It's challenging to get cars right now. So if you are trying to build a business uh, for car rentals, acquiring cars at a, an economic rate that makes sense and it's not going to like screw up your monthly, you know, calculations, it's a little challenging right now. So you have to have like more cash on hand right now, which I think is uh, probably, you know, a little just tough right now for people. So um, I think that's the, the most obvious and glaring issue is just the getting cars right now is a little more challenging. Um, another thing is that, you know, I think we're just kind of being faced with economic instability. Um, you know, I think, you know, Gary Vee, Gary Vaynerchuk, the, the uh, online entrepreneur, I just saw him in an interview the other day saying, you know, now is not the time for big expen big expenditures. Um, <clears throat> it's a good time to, you know, just kind of save some money and, and, and hang on to that. Um, you know, I, I, frankly, I, you know, I don't know what's going to happen in the coming year or two. I hope it's positive stuff. Um, that said, in my opinion, I survived 2020 with, um, you know, car rentals and, and hung on through that. So I can't imagine it being much worse than that. Um, you know, so in my opinion, um, you know, when you're doing business in any industry, you're going to weather storms, you're going to weather economic conditions that change all the time. Um, in my, I, I just, I typically don't let that slow me down. Uh, that's generally my stance, but I'm aware that, you know, <clears throat> we have moments in time where things are rocking out and going really well. And then there's other moments in time where it's a little more challenging and slow. So, um, you know, so that said, um, that that's another condition right now that can make rentals and demand challenging. Um, you know, so, <clears throat> but at the same time too, I mean, I think that, um, this market, there's just a lot of opportunity in this market. Um, as people are kind of weaning themselves off of car ownership in other spaces and then allow, and then, you know, allowing them, giving them the option to just rent a car in the city, um, I do think that there's, you know, kind of some offsetting factors, whereas, you know, if people are not purchasing cars as much, then the good news is, is that they can use our cars for rentals uh, within their city. So, um, you know, I mean, I, I think that I'm still pretty bullish on the whole industry. Um, and I think that, you know, it's going to be, um, I, I don't, I really don't see the car share industry going anywhere anytime soon. Um, to me, it's just like Airbnb. Airbnb has done very well. Uh, it did obviously had, it had a big setback in 2020, but it is rebounding and, and coming back. And I, I see the car share industry doing the same. So, um, <clears throat> all that to say, you know, I gave you a couple of ideas why I think it's maybe a bad time to get, um, you know, uh, into the car rental game. The main thing you got to watch out for right now is if you're going to finance a car, you know, I, I wouldn't, like I always say this before, it's not, uh, this is not probably not the best time to take on too many loans. One loan's fine, two, maybe two, you know, but uh, if you do take on a loan, just very, you want to keep that pay monthly payment very low. 
you know, I, I wouldn't probably want to take on anything more than 400 bucks right now. Um, and that's obviously probably going to be a used car with, you know, some miles on it. Uh, and that's okay. You know, that's okay. I, I just, you know, I, I wouldn't over leverage myself right now, given that things are kind of tenuous. Uh, so, you know, all that to say, drop some comments below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this um, <clears throat> and, and, and get your stance on it. Before I go, click below, grab the five things you must do before starting a car rental business. Lots of great information in there. I will catch you in the next episode. Thank you.